Friends and acquaintances of the late Archbishop continue to pay tribute at his house in Venduk. Shiombo, who was 87 years old, was described as a God-fearing man, a community leader, and an anti-apartheid and liberation struggle icon. Deputy Prime Minister Netumbonandi Ndaitwa and Comas Governor Laura McLeod Kashira joined the mourners to convey their messages of condolences. This is one day that none of us can try to skip, no matter how much strength you have. The day will come which is only known by the Almighty. But for us being here today is a celebration of a life that is well lived. We know Archbishop Petros Chiombo that he dedicated his life to the well-being of the Namibian people when he became an active person in the church and in the liberation struggle. And Archbishop has been preaching to liberate us spiritually. He has been part of the liberation struggle to liberate us mentally and physically. And that's how he will be remembered by the people of Namibia. The late Katikisa was conferred an official funeral and will be buried at Oshua Neho in Oshinene constituency on the 6th of next month. Lusengi Fintaka, NBC News, Venduk.